Hi, welcome to Murray's fun card reading. Don't take them seriously, they're only done for fun. Uh, I've just been to our local Comic Con. I'm dressed as Conan, but not fully as Conan. But she's my favourite character in the uh, Tarski. And I thought I'd do a fun card reading while I was still in my fun flat. And I've got my anime card here. My dog over there. And let's see what cards I pull out today. So this one's coming to fly out. Ten of Spades. I did a, I did a reading earlier, but my son sort of turned it off, and I got the same cards. Ten of Spades. So something painful is coming to an end. It's been the grieving process. It's a pretty sorrowful card. It's a hard one to bear. But the tens always represent endings. So some painful process that you've been through is coming to an end. Let's see if the next card. Clarifies it. I'm just doing a normal shuffle. I'm not cutting the deck or anything like that. I'm just going to see what cards come out. Ah. Behind me, I wrote a bag that my son brought. He's in the demon slayer. It's one of the most popular animes at the moment. So there's a few goodies in there like pillows, cool. I can't remember her name. I'm going to roll that up properly. I don't want to scrunch it up. So I'll continue with the reading. Okay. Okay. I should have pulled that one out, but I didn't. I'm going to pull this one out. Three of clubs. Ah, okay. This is a period of patience. Um, long, long endurance. Patience, endurance. Um, now I'm getting fatigued, but I think I'm getting fatigued from this card coming to an end. There's a time of, of uh, period of lack in your life where um you just, just been tired. You just haven't had the motivation to do anything. But um no, it's, it's come it's you're coming up out of a period of rest as well. Like you're you you went into a rest period and you're just waiting. You good patience. West. My other card reading was going bigger. I've got a few cards that dropped out. Hmm. Like playing <laughs> Just play poker. Oh, I've got too many cards for poker. Oh, we've got a seven of clubs. Rising over a battle, um, like the odds, rising above the odds, the eights in battles are in front of you, but you've had the endurance to go through these battles. It's like going for the gauntlet. Four of hearts. <laughs> <laughs> you 
this picture and it kind of tells me that you like you gonna have your inner child come back to you in a way like you're being bored because you just complacent you're not complacent with the things that you already have like it's you need something more because you um not set in your ways but it's all too familiar now. It's it's become boring and um the girl in the picture tells me that um Yeah have have soda house. Milk bar. Go out and have a go to a milk bar or something and roll the skate or do things that you used to do when you were a kid that you haven't done for a long time. Or a diamond. Yeah. It's like, yeah. He's, he's got his. I got everything I need. I don't need anything else. It's like I'm set. I have what I want. It's a quick one to read that one. Six of Hearts. This one, he's got his face, he's, sick. he's got his hand up to his face, the Six of Hearts. It's like I have an eye for detail. I can see the finer things in life, or the fine things in detail. Like we can walk. It's like seeing the forest through the trees. You see the. Or what's more, more than what you see that other people see. Uh, you can see the finer details, like the fine print. Or look into the fine print when you look into things. Two spades. It's only a bubble in his hand, like having clarity in the and it's shining. He's got both hands have the bubbles, so he's clearly he's conscious. He's got two hands with the bubbles, but he's the extra swords you get. And then it's like finding clarity of mind by finding your little peace and cutting out the things that you don't want in life. So therefore protecting your heart with the sword because your sword keep you from your vulnerability and to protect yourself from outside influences which are going to interrupt the clarity of mind so to keep that clarity in your mind by making sure that you have your defense as well make sure that you no know, ill words or start absorbing any negativity from other people and then you start becoming negative yourself so you have to protect yourself from becoming the things that you don't want to be like becoming what you hate and the nine of hearts is the wish card yay I'm gonna get my wish yeah I'm gonna get my wish but maybe you have to wait, wait a little bit before you get your wish. And that's the final card in the deck, deck cards. So after a painful ending, you've had to endure some really painful things, but it might cause you grief and hurt. But that's going to come to an end. Your seven of clubs. You've risen above the battles. You've fought against the odds. 
standing period waiting, the waiting game, patience, endurance, and oh, lots of sequences there for me. Four or five. So it's gotten bored in having to endure and wait, but then you decide that you, know, you need to live life a little bit because you know that. John Cooper Miller came from, whoa, life goes on, long after the thrill of living is gone. Well, yeah, life goes on. Go get a sorter at the takeaway shop. Poor darling Jeff, I got this. You're sitting pretty, you know, on, on your feet, you know. I've got the determination. Six of hearts. I forgot what I said about that one. Oh yeah. Got an eye for detail. Uh, clarity of mind. Keeping your defenses up. And making sure that, that you don't absorb any negativity from others and become the negativity yourself. Because I always weed that garden up here, you know, your brain, weed out all the negative things because you don't want to plant seeds in there that you don't want growing. And the nine hearts is the lucky wish card, so it can take a while, but, but in the end, if you endure for it and you show your perseverance, then you'll get what you want and you'll get your wish. Hopefully it's a good wish, like what you set your heart to desire on. And you might have come to test, being tested by the spirit and knocked around by the spirit, not knocked around by the spirit, but by the people who, who test your spirit. You know. Many are called, a few are chosen, you can guess why many fall, because they can't go through the hard part of the path. It's too hard for them, for a space, a period of rest, rejuvenation. Go have a spa, go have a treat, relax, she looks like she's relaxing, you know, she's sitting in the background. Yeah, hope you got a hammock, swing in the hammock. Just a day for yourself to be carefree, like me, going to Comic Con and enjoying the day with my kids and getting into the things that they get into. <laughs> we didn't have those kids. So those things, those little things that we enjoy in life. So. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I'm going to sign off here. And it's another fun reading by Murray. Bye. Until next time.